Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to this video. I'm Venkat and this is Just Me, an open source channel. In this video, let's see how to set up Rancher and how to import your existing Kubernetes cluster. So I did this video about Rancher, which is Cube 18, how to set up Rancher to manage your Kubernetes cluster. So this video was done about 10 months ago. And the reason I'm doing this video again is because um, few viewers who tried using my Vagrant environment to provision the Kubernetes cluster, they complained that they couldn't get it working. So they couldn't import their cluster into the Rancher environment. So I've been looking at uh, things that have changed since I recorded this video. So there are a couple of things. Uh, one is the version of the Kubernetes cluster. So if you're using my Vagrant uh, environment, Vagrant provisioning scripts to provision your Kubernetes cluster. I used uh, version 1.12 or 1.13, I think, when I was recording this video. But as of today, uh, October 2019, uh, the Vagrant environment, if you use my Vagrant environment, uh, the Kubernetes cluster that you will get is the latest one, which is 1.16.2, I think. and the other change is the uh, Flannel overlay network. So this video was based on Flannel overlay network, but I've changed my Vagrant environment to provision uh, Calico as the default overlay network. So there were two changes uh, that got my attention. So one is the Kubernetes version 1.16, the other one is the Calico. So I tested this video again uh, this week and uh, it's not working. So I tried version 1.16 with Calico and uh, it doesn't work with RKE, sorry, Rancher. And I also tried Kubernetes version 1.15 with Calico as the overlay network and still it doesn't work with Rancher. And I came to find uh, from one of the viewer that uh, it stopped working with Calico. So Calico doesn't work very well with, at least as far as I know, uh, it doesn't work very well with Rancher. And uh, Mark Lamberti, who tried my video, he suggested a solution. Uh, thanks to Mark Lamberti. And the solution is to go back to using Flannel as the overlay network. So I've updated my GitHub repository to use Flannel as the overlay network. Uh, but if you clone my GitHub repository and do Vagrant up, by default, it's going to give you a Calico network and you need to do some tweaking to get Flannel as the default overlay network. So that's what we are going to see in this video. All right, again, uh, it won't work in version 1.16. Even if you install Flannel with version 1.16 Kubernetes, still Rancher doesn't work. But Mark claims that uh, Rancher works with 1.16 as well. But um, I don't think that's the case because I just tested, I couldn't find it working. But if any of you guys um, find it working, please let me know in the comments. Kubernetes version 1.16 with Flannel as the overlay network. If you could get uh, Rancher to import that cluster, please let me know in the comment. I think I tried that. Okay, so let me clone my GitHub repository. Git clone Kubernetes. I'll put a link uh, to this uh, GitHub repository in the description if you want to try it. CD to Kubernetes and then to Vagrant provisioning. In here, I'm going to use Flannel as the overlay network. So my Vagrant provisioning will use the bootstrap kmaster.shell. So if I do bootstrap kmaster.shell, and you can see here it uses Project Calico. It provides you with the Calico as the overlay network. So we're going to use Flannel. So I'm going to move this file, move bootstrap underscore kmaster flannel dot shell to bootstrap underscore kmaster dot shell and if i do vagrant up it will provision a version 1.16 cluster which uh, i tested and it doesn't work with rancher so i'm going to go with version 1.15 so for that i'm going to edit bootstrap dot shell this file here vi bootstrap dot shell and go to line number 60 Right, so line number 60 is here. So here's where you specify which version of Kubernetes you want. So let's say 1.15.4 and change 
everything to 1.15.4 1.15.4 save that and now we are good to do vagrant up all right so now it's going to provision us a three node kubernetes cluster with one master node two worker nodes with flannel as the overlay network and then we should be able to uh, import that cluster into rancher all right so i looked at some of the forums where uh, they mentioned that rancher is still working on version 1.16 kubernetes cluster so as of now um, it doesn't work with version 1.16 but they are already working on it so the possibility is by the time you watch this video, depending on when you watch this video, Rancher might have already updated to work with version 1.16 of the Kubernetes cluster. All right, so um, it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take like five or six minutes at the moment it's provisioning Kmaster. So I'm gonna pause the video and come back when it's ready. All right, cluster has been provisioned. Let's uh, copy the cube config file going to my home directory, make directory.cube. I'm gonna copy the cube config file from kmaster to my host machine. Right, cube CDO version minus minus Sean. So um, we are running Kubernetes version 1.15.5. I don't know why it says 1.15.5, but if you take a look at cube CDL get nodes, it says version 1.15.4 and all the nodes are healthy. All right, so now we should be good to start our Rancher Docker container. So um, all of you who have followed my this video, just sorry, uh, how to set up Rancher to manage your Kubernetes cluster, you would know how to start a Rancher container. The command is docker run and we are binding port 80 and 443 to the host machine and we are doing a volume binding opt rancher from my host machine to var lib rancher inside the rancher container. All right, so our rancher container is running and we should be able to look at the rancher dashboard. Localhost, okay, let's give it a few more seconds. Localhost, yep. And let's set the password and the IP address of my host machine, which is 192.168.1.81. Add cluster, we are going to import an existing cluster. Let's give it a name, let's call it just me. Create the cluster. All right, the command we are going to run inside our Kubernetes cluster is this one here. Copy that and paste it. All right kubectl get namespace so we have the cattle system namespace created three seconds ago watch kubectl minus n cattle system get all right so now the containers are getting created if i click done here on the web ui now the status is pending soon it will change to waiting and then to active hopefully so there are two things here so one is you need to be using flannel as the overlay network and you have to be using version 1.15 or lower until Rancher starts supporting Kubernetes version 1.16. Okay, so imported and all the containers are running. Running and let's wait for a few more containers. It's still waiting. At least it found that we've got three nodes in here so it should start working. All right, cool. So the cluster state is active now and uh, the nodes pods all the pods are running fine cool cluster and we have all the nodes here and everything is working fine all right cool so for those of you who had problems setting up rancher and importing your kubernetes cluster following my old video which was released 10 months ago uh, please watch this video and get your cluster working get your cluster imported into rancher all right, hope you enjoyed this video. Please share and subscribe. I will see you all in another video. Bye-bye.